In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom bokeh for your photography. If you're not familiar with the term, it is the out of focus blur in the background of your photographs. So if you take a photo of some lights, like these lights over here, and you're out of focus, well, you'll start to see the shape of the aperture inside your camera. If your aperture is all the way open, you'll see a nice smooth circle. However, if you stop your aperture down, maybe let's say f5.6, you'll start to see the shape of the blades inside the aperture because it's not an exact circle inside the camera. It's a bunch of blades that come together. There may be five blades, there may be nine blades. It depends on the quality of your lens. Cheaper kit lenses typically come with about five blades and it's not a very nice aperture, to be honest. Whereas an expensive f2.8 24 to 70 from Canon would probably come with a nine blade aperture, a much smoother aperture. And as a result, a much smoother bokeh and background blur. However, you can get creative. You can set your own custom bokehs. But to do that, you first need to cut them out of a little bit of black card. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So a bit of arts and crafts right now. I've taken some wood and I put it on the table so I don't scratch anything. And then what I have here is a circle cutter. This allows me to create a perfect circle. Now we're using a circle cutter because it's a circular lens, but really you could just do a square or whatever you like. This just makes it a bit easier for us. If you want to get really creative, you can take your lens and you can put this on the top, but what we can also do is cut shapes or cut lines into the side. Let's do it over here. And you can fold it down and actually make a, a sort of lens cap for your custom bokeh. If you do that all the way around and put some tape around it, then that's gonna stay on the end of your lens. So here is a circular cutout that we can use for a custom bokeh. And I'm gonna cut a shape into this. I've already done a triangle and a heart over here. We've got a couple other shapes. It didn't work quite as well as I'd like. So I'm gonna go for a star, I think. Which is just gonna be two triangles, one on top of the other. I was never very good at making stars in school. So there's one. Let's do another one. And this time I'm gonna do a lightning bolt. Not the best lightning bolt in the world. Let's see if I can improve that slightly. Now that I've cut out a few custom bokehs for my lens, it's time to take a photograph. The lens I'm going to be using is the Canon 100 f 2.8L. The reason I'm not using the 18 to 55 is, well, firstly, you want to be quite far away because the further away you are, the bigger the bokeh is gonna be, the bigger that blur. Secondly, you want a wide aperture. If I was to take the 18 to 55, well, when I zoom into 55 millimeters, I'm no longer at my widest aperture. I'm going to be at f5.6, which makes for rather small bokeh and it makes it a lot harder to get a decent bokeh effect. So instead of using that, I'm gonna use the 100 millimeters, I'll be standing further away. And at f2.8, the aperture is going to be all the way open and it's a rather large aperture too. Typically, this is going to be best done on a wider aperture lens stopped all the way open. Because the photos are going to be out of focus when I take them so that we can accentuate that blur, I'm going to set my camera to manual mode. I'm shooting handheld, so 100 millimeters on a crop body I want 160th of a second. 
My aperture is going to be f2.8 because that's as wide as it goes. And my ISO, for now I'm going to leave it on 400 and we'll see how that works. If I need a little bit more or a little bit less exposure, I can change that too. To accentuate the bokeh, I've taken some fairy lights and I put them up on this bookshelf over here so that they're dotted around and we're gonna have loads of little bits of light. I'm gonna take one photo now, as out of focus as I can get it. Now, as out of focus as I can get it is far, far, far too out of focus. So instead of going all the way out of focus, look through your viewfinder and find that perfect size. For me, I want to be able to recognize that they're individual lights, but I don't really want to see any of the detail of the books behind them. So that's a good photo. We've got that nice smooth bokeh. Now we're gonna take these custom cards and we're gonna put them in front of the lens like so, and we can take another photograph. That's a really cool triangle one. This is my awful star cutout, but the effect still works pretty well. One for Valentine's Day, we've got hearts here. And my not quite brilliant, but not that bad lightning bolt too. And you can adjust the shape and the direction of the bokeh by adjusting the direction of the card. And there we have four different custom bokehs. It's a little bit of arts and crafts, but it really doesn't take more than about five minutes to set up. And so long as you have some black card and ideally some kind of sharp instrument like this, a knife, I guess this is some kind of um, crafts knife or scalpel, you'll be able to cut them out and do them yourself. It's a great effect and it's not just limited to taking photos of some out of focus lights. You can do this while taking portraits as well. You have a subject in the foreground, you take their portrait, and then if there's lights out of focus in the background, you can change the shape of those by using a custom bokeh card. That's how to create a custom bokeh. I hope you enjoyed the video. When you take your own photos, please do us a favor, leave us a comment below and let us see them. We would love to see them. Thanks very much for watching.